All right, this one is from Mr. Dr. Bonehead, right? Bless, guys, guys, you already know him. Go give him some likes. Go sub to his channel if you haven't. This one is called Power of Gods Ending Chains in the Anime. What happened? Did Rachel actually never push bomb? The Tower of God anime had some mixed opinions from fans of the original work. Some of us loved it, some of us not so much, or certain scenes they didn't like as much as other scenes. Okay. Uh, my personal opinion is that the anime was a pretty faithful adaptation. It wasn't perfect, but it was still pretty good considering other adaptations, and I think as a standalone anime, it's actually quite good. The art, the music, the voice acting, and honestly the story, they, the way they handled I thought everyone hated the fucking art, bro. Thank you for the gift to sub, Doctor. Appreciate that, man. Not a lot of people are upset about the art and the animation, at least. Nah, it was just that one Sylvanas video where Tower of God was overhyped and a lot of people apparently let down. I thought there was nothing wrong with it. Handled everything. I thought it was pretty solid. But there were definitely a few things that I think they handled uh, pretty poorly. And one of those things is the ending. Now, I know what you're saying, but, but Joe, the, the hype ending with the, the, the character that I don't want to spoil. Yes, that was extremely hype. I lost my mind. I think he's talking about Viol, right? At the very end, they don't want to spoil. Like, I'm like, what are you trying to avoid spoiling? But I think they're talking about Juvial Grace, who is basically bomb. <laughs> yeah, this is what I saw. This is yeah. what I saw. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Long haired guy. <laughs> Yo! That is so hype! <laughs> never gonna let you. Ne never let you go. Never let you go. <laughs> I got the bam right. I'm sorry, the Sylvanas lines are still stuck in my head. I'm talking about the actual ending, not the yeah. teaser, not the little clip at the end. I'm talking about the way they ended season one's story. To give you With an Veal? idea of why this no? was not handled as well as it could have been, I'm going to compare it to the original webcomic, but keep in mind it is okay to have differences. Just because it's not the same doesn't mean it's bad, but the original webcomic addressed certain things that the anime did not. In the original webcomic, Bomb is found at the bottom of the lake or whatever he, he's there you know he's lying next to the dead bull he's bloodied he's bruised he's broken physically and more fuck you rachel mentally emotionally right he, he's ruined this is bomb at his absolute worst huarion walks up to him he 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 can't even like yep at his absolute worst when he's the most vulnerable what time is it time to manipulate the sweet little boy speak right he's so distraught right he's already awake also he, he's not like unconscious and he, he he doesn't have amnesia he doesn't forget what happened he remembers and it is tearing him up this is the worst that bomb has ever felt right orion walks up to him she says how does it feel to be betrayed you look awful you know and eventually bomb starts breaking down he says, why? Why did this happen? He starts screaming and yelling out why. He wants to find out why Rachel betrayed Yeah, and then Huarian says, if you want to know, just climb to the top of the tower. Peak manipulation. Hate him, right? And he's just, he, he is so vulnerable. And then Huarian says, let's go up the tower. You'll find your answer. And cap, cap, cap. The answer is right on this fucking floor. Yu Hansung knows it. Huarian knows it. Huarian low-key a bitch then, huh? Like, I honestly like Huarion more than Endorsey. I think that Huarion is the most beautiful character. I think Endorsey is overhyped. Truly. This, this might be a hot take. I think Endorsey is ridiculously overhyped and she's just a mean, cold ass bitch. But the more I think about it, Huarion and what she does, is she that different? She is basically manipulating. I think Endorsey had bombs like true. Uh, she cared about him a lot more. She cared about him a lot more to the point where she was even saying, whatever you're chasing to the top of the tower, I hope it's more important than Bum. I think that Endorsey actually treated Bum really respectfully and really well. Hwadion, though, at the end, manipulating him, like, the, the more I think about it, the more I realize how fucked up everything is. Because they wanted to make him into a Fug Slayer candidate without actually thinking about what Bum wants to do. So that's why I keep thinking that even if he's Fug, does he truly intend on killing Zahad? Or is he just using this right now as an opportunity, a ticket, to climb the tower and reunite with his teammates and get some answers out of Rachel and he never actually gave a fuck about being a slayer? That's something that we'll need to figure out as the season two progresses. And that's where it ends, right? It ends right there. It's a good ending because we've, se we've never seen Bomb this bad, right? Bomb has been through hardships. He hosed death. Uh, Rachel even leaving him in the first place and you know, he, he's had to deal with some crap, right? But this this isn't even like he's never felt this way This is bomb at his absolute 
worst. And that's why it's so great because what's gonna happen in season two? Is Bomb gonna be messed up? What's gonna happen? Is he gonna He Bomb is honestly like again, I just don't know yet until we, we get the answers. But right now I think a lot of people are getting baited. Many people are probably happy with the new bomb, Viol. So cold, so ruthless. He's not this innocent sweet kid anymore. He's got the resolve to kill and more. But that's what it seems like. I don't think that's the real bomb. I think that people might get let down when later on it gets revealed that he still has that sweet innocent side to him. I, I think a lot of people are getting catfished. That's the vibes that I'm getting from bomb right now. Gonna be the same bomb we all know and love. Is he gonna be like evil now? Well, what's gonna happen, right? And then, okay, the anime sort of uh fails pretty hard on this part. In uh -oh. the anime, Huaryun finds bomb. First of all, he's not that bloody. He's not that broken. He's just kind of lying there, unconscious, right? He's and chilling. Shinsu is like hiding him slash protecting him or whatever. And he wakes up and he has to be reminded about what happened. So we're seeing Bomb's first reactions to Rachel's betrayal. Huaryun tells him, you know, well, how do you feel? And he's like, Rachel pushed me, that's right. And we're seeing him at, this is supposed to be Bomb at his worst. Instead, he just kind of curls up and Huaryun says, I'll train you, which I think is a weird mm -hmm. translation. And then Bomb says, and then she tells him, the answer's at the top of the tower. And Bomb is like, you know, we think that Bomb, oh, what a great ending. Bomb is at his worst, what's gonna happen? And instead, we get this dramatic, brave finish with Bomb saying, no, no, this is not the top of the tower. Like, I'm gonna find my answers and, you know, and if I have to climb, then so be it. But I'm gonna find it, blah, blah, blah. It's like... Bomb, what are you talking about? Instead mm. of seeing Bomb, who is just so distraught, screaming out, why? Basically, the difference is, in the anime, it made it a lot less dire. Because, like, there's an importance of how bloodied and how fucked up he was. And the whole, just, like, hit rock, he, he literally hit rock bottom. But then in the anime, they didn't really portray that and gave a more positive more inspiring ending and that's the difference right now why did rachel betray me instead he says well, you know is she okay whatever and then he says i'm gonna find my answers i'm gonna climb if that's what it takes i'm gonna do it okay bomb like just like it wasn't like that in the webtoon though it was way too positive in the anime to end on a high note exactly yeah all right we're ending the high note of a season we want to give people like a good impression that's the anime direction, but in the webtoon, it was not like that at all. A second ago, she pushed you, and you fell off a cliff, and your life is supposed to be ruined. You're not supposed to be this optimistic. This may not seem like a huge difference, but if you actually compare the scenes, it's a gigantic difference. Hmm. Instead of it being a dramatic ending, a sad ending with this gigantic cliffhanger with Bomb's character, it's an ending that confirms he's still the same Bomb we know and love. He's a Bomb that is going to continue being sweet, He's gonna find out what happened, and it's not, it, it's like dramatic, it's, it's dramatic, it's different, it's a different kind of dramatic, right? Bomb is instead being like, I'm a hero, instead of being like, broken. They're both dramatic in different ways. What would I have liked to see more? I don't know. Would you guys have wanted to see a broken bomb, just like in the webtoon, at the end of, you know, Tower of God Season 1? And for him to, I don't, maybe I would have preferred that. Instead of him being on, like, uh, I don't know being heroic and inspiring and being like the cliche main character saying i will move forward no matter what seeing a broken down bum turn to his edgy ways that would have been like a quote unquote like bad ending but that might have been pretty entertaining because the main character has like gone quote unquote bad like dark bum i'm not sure ways but one is i don't know I don't know. There's a big difference there, and, and the, the difference, like in the webtoon, in the webcomic, Bomb's resolve is broken. This is great. This is the character development we need for Bomb. In the anime, he's just, he just wants to find the answers, he's brave, he's like, I'm a hero. That's not great. Hmm. To show he acts as a typical protagonist. Yeah, I could totally get the feels of that. And again, it, it must be... Like, the studio decided, like, we want to end it on a high note. Let's make this character into a heroic person at the end instead of having him be all down and depressed like in the webtoon. Because by doing that, they thought that the audience would enjoy that ending more. 
give a good feeling, give a good lasting feeling. I don't think just a positive ending is the one thing that's going to give people a lasting feeling, though. For example, Avengers, totally separate medium content. Hollywood movies, Marvel. I don't want to spoil it, but, you know, in the Thanos movie, right? What does he do? And then it's like a bad ending, right? It's like, holy shit, the heroes didn't win. Oh my god, what's going on? That left a huge lasting impression on people that made people really anticipate the next season or the next part of the movie, right? I think that if the Tower God anime ended on a similar quote-unquote bad ending with Bum and having him broken and angry and lash out, that might have honestly been a better ending rather than ending on a high note. Maybe the anime studio took the easy way out because they thought that let's not take a risk. Let's just like... Everybody loves a good time. Everybody loves an uplifting ending. Let's just make bomb like this rather than give a dark, depressing ending. But the more I think about it, the dark, depressing ending might have been more compelling. That's not great. To showcase what I mean, I'm going to compare the scene from the anime with the scene from the original webcomic. I'm going to okay. show uh, our dub. We just finished uh, season one. I'm going to show how, the, how we decided to go about it versus how the anime went about this. Oh shit, it's Bonehead's team's dub. Let's go. How does it feel to be betrayed? TOG abridged! I... I don't know. I don't know what this feeling inside of my heart is. I don't know. They're actually giving a fuck about the voice acting, man. Like, you can feel the emotion. I should know why. Why? Rachel betrayed me! Damn! <laughs> the immersion! Yes, the boy will make his way up the tower. Follow oh. me. I'll tell you. <laughs> Let's go up the tower. As promised. What he wants. What we all want. Is waiting up there. Is up there. At the top of the tower. That was pretty good. Like, usually I cringe at English voice acting for anime. Mostly because... The voice actors just read off of a script and there's like no fucking emotion put in. And when I hear the Japanese counterpart, it's just like night and day. It just sounds like the Japanese voice actor just gives a fuck. While the English voice acting is just so mismatched. But honestly, the, in the voice acting from Dr. Bonehead's team, I could feel the emotion. That was pretty good. <laughs> This is probably gonna get fucking claimed for fucking copyright. God damn it, why are you playing the fucking soundtrack, bro? Motherfucker, I'm trying to make a dollar right now. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, she did. Everybody knows exactly how this ended, right? Yeah, and then this part is where Bam basically says, I'll climb and gets the motivation back. I'm going to avoid doing this shit because I don't want to fucking deal with the copyright shit. But you can see the difference of like how Bam got the motivation by himself and pulled him forward and said, I'll climb the tower. But like in the webtoon, like the, there's a lot of fucking blood, right? There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of complicated feeling that's anything from positive. But here it's just like main character basically has his own talk no jutsu to himself and figures it out and then decides to climb the tower in an epic heroic way. And then season one ends. And again, it just seems like, you know, the direction of the studio intentionally did this to leave off on a high note. But I wonder if leaving on like a depressing low note would have been even more memorable. Comic, it's like this gigantic cliffhanger bomb is broken he doesn't know what to think can he trust hua Ryun? what's going on in the anime he just gets up he looks up he's like i'm a climb i get it 
It's it's not a great ending. The thing is, if you're an anime, but like, as an anime only, me not even knowing that, the ending was great in itself. You know, like for sure. Now that I know from the webtoon, I might even want the webtoon ending. But the fact that the anime like still delivered on a good enough ending that people kind of like were hyped about, despite them just you know being only anime only had no idea the webtoon. I guess they got away with it, but. Yeah, I'm starting to think that I want the webtoon ending. Hey, only, you might think this is fine. And like, it's not the worst thing. I feel like there are some worse changes, especially with the Endorsey and Bomb relationship. You can check out that video by clicking the card. But the yeah, they main thing that shit. is that it doesn't set up properly for season two. You know, there is no character development for Bomb. The cliffhanger is a lot less uh, poignant. Is that, is that? Man, if season... Oh shit, sorry. I just realized I was not fucking playing the video at all. I was... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> my bad, my bad. But what, he, what Dr. Bonehead just said there, you know what he said about not setting up Bomb properly for season two? The more I think about it, because Bomb has such an uplifting attitude by the end of season one, the whole veal dark persona, it kind of conflicts. In fact, because that happened, I'm willing to even think that, yeah, the real Bomb, this is not veal. He's fucking catfishing right now. But if it ended on that dark tone like in the webtoon, and then you show me Viol, then I'd be like, whoa, yo, he actually fucking changed. Yo, like, this kid's different now. I don't even know where that innocent kid is anymore. It also doesn't help the fact that there were some scenes where Obama is thinking about Rachel, and that's one of the big things that I keep referring back to whenever I say, like, I don't think Viol is as dark and mysterious as you guys actually think. I think it's just them simply hiding the bangs and making it seem like he's a cold, ruthless person. But I think it's still there because he was still thinking about Rachel like that. The anime, I don't think, wants you to... I don't, like, I don't think the anime is trying to make us guess. I don't think the anime is trying to even be discreet. They're trying to be a little bit. They're not giving us immediately, but they're leaving us enough clues to make us think that, holy shit, I think the kid is not as, you know, edgy as you think. Is that how you say it? It's just a difference and a change for the worst, at least in my opinion. Um, and, like, other than that, the ending was fine. You know, you could talk about the Leiro Row and Quant scene. I feel like the anime handled that fine. That was something about getting fired, but actually never happened, and they went on a different mission. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Fine. Not great, you know. It kind of goes against Quant's character a little bit, but overall it's fine. I feel like this is the main reason why the ending didn't sit well for a lot of webcomic readers. Mm -hmm. Now again, not the worst thing. I enjoyed it when I first watched it, but the more I thought about it and the more I heard other people talking about the ending, the more I realized it wasn't really true to the source material. And it For sure. And I think a lot of like webtoon readers are probably upset about it. I don't think any anime onlys are upset about it, but as an anime only listening to what I missed out on, now I'm thinking like, yeah, it would have been better for Veal's character if we just, you know, ended with Dark Bomb. Again, it's fine to adapt things and change things, but when mm -hmm. it actually affects your characters and your story, that's when change isn't good. But anyway, that's my thoughts on the ending. What do you guys think? Is the ending fine? Are these changes okay? Uh, what are some other changes from the original you didn't like? Because I want to talk more about it, critique the anime. I think it's a lot of fun. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Speaking of- I think that like, again, the ending as an anime only, it is fine, but it could be way better. And I agree with the ending kind of ruining Veal's character setup of our webcomic dub we're actually going to be continuing with season two very soon so if you're an okay. anime only you might want to check out our dub our guys y'all know what to do go if you like power of god content go to mr bonehead's channel go like his video and sub to channel if you haven't that was a pretty brief breakdown of the things that i didn't even know what happens and does this ruin the show no it does it's a, it's a, i i think that it's honestly i don't know if trivial is the right word it is a significant change, it's just that it never seemed to really make the ending worse until I just realized Viol and how good that setup would be, even more confusing on whether or not the innocence is there if you had Bomb be all dark and broken at the end of season one. But I guess the studio, you know, decided to do their own thing for the sake of taking a, a safe route and an uplifting high tone ending rather than a dark depressing one. But that's it for me.